now have uh, Helene, which has been upgraded to a hurricane. Winds are at 80 miles per hour for perspective. Uh, you have 74. That's the threshold for a Category 1 hurricane. Right now, Helene is leaving the Caribbean and starting to move into the southern Gulf of Mexico, moving northwest at 10 miles per hour. Uh, in addition to Helene now being a hurricane, we also have an updated track. It's a little bit stronger with this track compared to what we were seeing earlier this morning. So here we go. Throughout the course of the day today, it will continue to eventually move northeast and get closer and closer to Florida. We are forecasting this to still be a major hurricane. This is at landfall Thursday night along the Big Bend region of Florida. Those winds have increased just a little bit more, now up to 20, 125 miles per hour. That's right at landfall again. The forecast is 125 mile per hour winds right at landfall Thursday night, the Big Bend region of Florida. So that's a major hurricane. Beyond that, as we continue toward the north, we are forecasting Helene to stay a hurricane in South Georgia and a tropical storm over North Georgia. One thing I want to point out with this new track, and again, the track brand new as of 11 o'clock this morning, uh, we are seeing... That track basically over Metro Atlanta now. So not only North Georgia, but Metro Atlanta. Uh, and it's a little bit further west, which concerns us because we were already looking at a significant event. The further west that track goes, the higher your rain totals will be and the stronger the wind will be. So we may have to increase some of these thresholds a little bit, especially Friday morning, now that that track is a little bit further west. So that's certainly something we're going to continue to watch for you. Here's a look at an update of your impacts here across Metro Atlanta. Today, we you're already seeing showers and storms out there. Some of those storms will be severe. In fact, we've been tracking some severe thunderstorm warnings west of Metro Atlanta, and it's not impossible that we see some isolated tornadoes now through this evening. I do want to point out the activity that we're seeing right now has nothing to do with Helene. This is because of a front that is moving into North Georgia, but again, rain, storms, and even some isolated tornadoes will be possible uh, this afternoon and evening, basically as of right now. As I'm giving you your update on Helene, we do have First Alert Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Valdez and First Alert Meteorologist Ella Dorsey both standing by in the event that a tornado warning is issued. That will be possible now throughout the course of the afternoon. So that's a first alert for today. Then as we slide into Thursday, we'll ship from the front that we're seeing today to the impacts from Helene. So Thursday, we'll see heavy rain and gusty winds. The potential for flooding will be there Thursday. By Thursday night, we're just looking at the potential for trees coming down because the winds are going to start to increase Thursday night. So not only do you have heavy rain, but with those winds becoming really strong, trees, power lines coming down Thursday night. That will continue into Friday morning. Friday morning is still the overall worst time for the entire event here for us in Metro Atlanta. Heavy rain, strong winds, again, trees and power lines could still come down Friday morning, and we are still looking at this moving completely out of Metro Atlanta by Friday afternoon. So after lunch on Friday, we will be in better shape. Want to get you back to the latest on uh, Helene. Again, it is now a hurricane with 80 mile per hour winds, basically now moving into the southern Gulf of Mexico. So uh, this will be a significant event for us in Metro Atlanta and North Georgia. Thursday night going into Friday again will be the worst for us here in North Georgia. So definitely stay weather ready. We already have pushed out an update in the First Alert Weather app, so make sure and download that app and be ready to rock and roll. One thing we're going to do, uh, because we are anticipating power being lost, is we will stream all of our coverage in that First Alert Weather app. So in the event that you do lose power, you can still watch our coverage and keep up to date on the latest in that app with live coverage. So make sure you get that app downloaded, and we'll keep you up to date on not only Helene, but also the tornado threat that we have right now. Uh, we'll keep you up to date on Atlanta News First. Maria, for now. I'll send it back over to you.